Dedicated to my dad and his memory. Dale and I think about dad every day and we'll forever hold that in our heart. We thought it would be awesome to share some personal photos from our personal collections with you guys, the fans. You are what made Dale Earnhardt and we will never forget that. We hope you enjoy them. This photo is a picture of me with my mom, Brenda, and my dad, Dale. As you can see, they were pretty young parents and this must have been one of our first family photos. I think I'm about two months or so here, and through the years we had a lot of fun family photos like this one. This is Dad, Teresa, and Dale Jr. Dale Jr. always cracked me up with that cute little haircut. I think they call that the bowl cut. I think he was about four in this picture, and this was um, on the lake where we lived in Mooresville. This photo is another family portrait, and this time it's both myself and Dale and our mom, Brenda, and Dad. This was Christmas, and this was actually at Mama Earnhardt's house. Christmas, we had a lot of fun Christmas memories with Dad. We're really blessed to get what we wanted from Santa most of the time. Sometimes he'd throw us a curveball. But those Christmas was a lot of great memories. We spent those with our dad and mom both, and we spent a lot of time at Mama Earnhardt's for Christmas too. This is Dad and Dale, if you can't tell. There's that cute bowl cut again. And don't you just love the clothes that they dressed us in back in the 70s? I'm pretty sure that style might be coming back these days. Spending time and getting to go to New York for the NASCAR banquets was awesome. This picture is from one of the NASCAR banquets. You know, my dad was a seven-time champion, and we were able to spend a lot of time in New York at the NASCAR banquet with him. I'm probably about 16 or 17 in this picture. Taylor's about one, and we really enjoyed the many times we got to go there and celebrate with dad. Many of you might know that my dad was really good at riding a bicycle backwards. I think I've got a lot of fan pictures from him at different appearances and whatnot where he showed off his skill from time to time. In this picture, we're at Cat K in the Bahamas on a small family trip. Taylor is the one rollerblading, and dad, once again, is showing off those good bicycle skills backwards. This picture was at St. Mark's Church where we grew up in Mooresville. Dad is wearing that famous grin of his. Not sure what he's thinking there. Probably thinking about maybe Dale, who knows what Dale Jr. was doing, what he's reading, what he was up to, and how he was acting at church. We were here for a family church portrait. Any picture we had as a child with Dad is we really cherish. Taking pictures back in the 70s really wasn't the thing in the 80s, so we really cherish all the pictures that we had. This picture is one of Dale Jr.'s favorites. It's probably right about around 80 or 81, and Dad is sporting that cowboy hat. Thank goodness he didn't pick that up for the rest of his career like Richard Petty. Victory Lane was probably the coolest place to get your family photo made. And luckily, our dad won a lot, so we were able to spend a lot of time in Victory Lane. This looks like North Wilkesburg back in the uh, probably late 80s. I'm sporting the old Wrangler satin jacket there, and to this day, we still own that jacket. Those were always fun times, and uh, we were glad to share a lot of good memories in Victory Lane. I picked this picture. It doesn't really have any photos of Dad in it, the Dad, an actual Dad, but I thought it was funny. If you look real close, this was Dale Jr.'s bedroom at our lake house in Mooresville, and if you look real close, he's holding a magazine with a lot of photos of our Dad. I just kind of chuckled when I come across this and thought it would be funny to share. This is a picture in New York at one of the NASCAR banquets. I had some amazingly beautiful red hair going on in this picture. One of the few photos that I have of my dad and I together when I'm grown up. And there were a lot of fun times in New York. Sometimes too much fun. I do remember having a drink in my hand once, trying to celebrate with a glass of champagne, and boy did I get in trouble. I wasn't quite of age, but I was certainly wanting to join into the festivities. That didn't work out so well for me. This picture I had to pull down off my wall in the hallway. It's very, very, very special. It's one of the very few pictures that we have of Dad with my oldest daughter, Carson. Here, Carson is about three months old, and this picture was taken at the Dale Hart Incorporated Christmas party. Again, it's just really, really sweet and special, and we'll cherish it forever. This picture is from a photo shoot that we did. I want to say it was for Wrangler, but I'm not quite sure. But can you imagine how much fun I was having getting all dolled up? You can see my cute little fur coat there. Now, Dale, on the other hand, was probably just along for the ride. And he probably slept on the ride, too, there, too. He was notorious for sleeping in the car. But it was a fun day with Dad, and I also have this picture hanging up in my house. It's also one that's pretty special. This is another favorite of Dale Jr.'s, and this is from his collection. 
He actually has this picture blown up and in his computer room of him and dad. I think he likes the idea that they were kind of playing around, having fun, you know, shooting their little toy guns. Probably one of the rare occasions that dad had to be able to play with us while he was racing around the Carolinas back in the 70s. This picture is of Dad the Griller. You can see me popping up in the bottom there and our precious dog, Domine. Back in the 70s, just a young tyke. I can't quite remember what the burgers taste like, but it was certainly fun to have Dad around to hang out and grill. These were one of our family beach pictures. My mom will probably kill me because I didn't ask her permission to put her up in her cute little bikini. We usually took a trip to Myrtle Beach. My Uncle Randy and his family had a house down there. And our family vacation was always spent in Daytona. Um, throughout the years. We'd go there for the race in July. Dale and I'd play on the beach. Sometimes we'd get to go to maybe Disney World. And those were lots of fun times. I don't remember being able to be on the beach as much in our later years. And that's why I love these pictures, just to look back and think that we were able to have this kind of family vacation and share good times with each other. This picture is from St. Mark's Church. Each year the church did a photo directory with your telephone number and your address and your photo. And this was our family portrait. Taylor was just a little thing there. Dale and I was probably about 16 or 17. Dale probably 14 or 15. St. Mark's is the church we grew up at and also the church that I recently got married at. We're still members there today. We enjoy the church very much and our memories there. I really hope you enjoyed all these photos that we were able to share with you today. Our dad was just one special individual. Not only was he talented on the racetrack, but he was involved in his community, involved in his church, and involved in his family. I hope you take this week to really celebrate the good memories, your encounters with him, and the lasting legacy that he's left on the sport of NASCAR. Just focus on the good times, the good memories, and the celebration of what he accomplished in life, because he sure was the man.